we really have uh, we have um, the Ridge Historic District is one of the largest urban districts on the National Register of Historic Places, mm -hmm. and it covers a huge part of the area. And then we also have um, one, two, three uh, Chicago landmark districts, including the Longwood Drive District. Um, Um, Walter Burley Griffin Place, which I'll take you back through on the way back. And the the Metro Rock I the Rock Island train station district. Five of the stations are landmarks, and then we have um, five individually designated Chicago landmarks. All right. So up here, it's just, I just think this is so interesting here. Let's yeah, see this is. I go? Do I want to go here? I get lost. No, I think if you uh, just dropped a person into this neighborhood yeah. and this didn't tell them where they were, yeah. there'd be no way that they'd get Chicago. Look at this. These this houses is... are just unbelievable, I think. We have um, four Frank Lloyd Wright homes. One of them is up here in North Beverly, and then there's mm -hmm. one on Longwood Drive, and then there's two uh, what are called American System built homes, which were prefab Frank Lloyd Wright homes built right before the war. We have two of those. And just with all the trees here, you know, we're here in late fall, so yeah. uh, we're not seeing all the foliage, but we're I would not. have to imagine that uh, in spring and summer. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Just every type of architecture. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty fascinating that you mm -hmm. see everything from these, uh, from more of a ranch style home to yeah. these larger homes to, you know, bungalows, and it it's just every type. Mm -hmm. We have Art Deco, International Style, Tudor. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, this one up here is, is unbelievable. It used to be the uh, Columban Fathers residence up until I think about 10 years ago and now it's a private residence. It's so what have been the biggest changes then in the last 25 years in terms of, uh, of well, the neighborhood? Commercial development has been a real priority because it, it, you know, our housing has always been beautiful and mm -hmm. it's really stayed in great shape. Um, whereas the commercial uh, strips kind of lagged. So getting that 95th and Western area redone was major. That's in the last 10 years. Um, you know, we've stayed very stable. Uh, housing prices before the economy tanked mm -hmm. you know, had gone up a lot. Probably not as much as you saw in the trendier areas like R Wicker Park, but um, we had seen a pretty big increase. cul-de-sacs went in about 15 years ago <laughs> right. and it's difficult to for people who don't live up here you got to maneuver to get around them but it does control the traffic 